Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo. In this video, I want to talk about wildcards, just a little bit about wildcards and how they can be used to find and replace some strings. This is by no means a comprehensive um, video on wildcards. So we will do something deeper on wildcards later on, but this is just to show you a trick that can be used when you want to do find and replace. So first of all, question would be, you know, what are wildcards? Um, this ain't native to Excel, if you may, but maybe native to computers. Um, so in search, maybe terminology, they kind of look like placeholders. You know, when you really don't know what you are looking for, you can replace whatever that string is with a wildcard. So for example, somebody just tells you, give me all the words that start with D and end with D. All you know is that there's a D at the beginning, there's a D at the end. But there could be so many things in between. It could be dad, it could be died, it could be dead. You know, there are just so many options and they could have different lengths. So when you're not sure what you're looking for and you're not setting what that character would be, you can use a wildcard um, to substitute or to replace whatever string you're looking for. Okay, so in Excel, particularly, we have two types of wildcards. We have um, the question mark and we have the asterisk. Okay, so the question mark represents a single character, just one character. So when you include an asterisk, um, sorry, question mark rather, it, um, Excel knows that you're looking for a single character. But when you use an asterisk, it means it could be one character or multiple characters, right? The examples which I have here will kind of, you know, make this make more sense. So when somebody says F asterisk, it means that it obviously starts with an F and it can have so many other characters following. You don't know what will be the length, but you just know it starts with an F and has other characters, okay? So I just put an interpretation here, F followed by any number of characters. Examples could be fin, fish, fastidious. So long as it starts with an F, that's fine. The more you go through these examples, the easier it becomes and it kind of just makes sense to you. A asterisk, what would that mean? Just like the first, it starts with A and you have as many characters following. So all, Alter Azerbaijan. Okay, now maybe it gets more interesting here. A asterisk A. So you know that it starts with A, it ends with A, and you can have as many characters in between, right? So it means it could be what? Amaka, that's a Nigerian name, Asda Abba. So long as it starts with A and ends with A, you know that's good enough for you. Um, Let's see the next one. A asterisk, A asterisk. What does this tell you? It means that you have an A. You could have one character or a number of characters. You have another A and you have one character or a number of characters following. So it means that you have A at the beginning and you have A somewhere in the string. Examples could be Amala or Actuary. So let's do one that has a question mark. This one, for example, because you know that a question mark represents a single character. So C, question mark, question mark. What would that mean? It means that what you have C followed by what? Two characters. That's what it means. Okay? So once you have any word or string that starts with C and has two characters following, this is going to find it. So can, ca, cry. Next one, a question mark, C, question mark meaning there's one character, which is that question mark as the first character. You have a C in position two, and you have a question mark in position three. It's obviously a, you know, a three-letter um, string, but it has C as the middle character. So these are examples. So that's just kind of how it works. It comes in handy when you want to do some... Um, maybe um, subtotaling. It could be sum if, it could be count if, it could be sum product, and they are not really setting what you're searching for. But you know, okay, if somebody says, find the sum of the ages of anybody who bears Victor. When your list, you have Victor with so many surnames. You can't start writing all the possible names in there in your sum if or sum product. You can just do something like maybe Victor Asterix, right? That would mean that anything that has Victor and any other thing. And that way you are able to account for, you know, all the Victors. So I'm just going to show you another example. 
I would have maybe one or two other videos in this series, but this is just the first one. Um, I call this <laughs> like using it for text to columns. This exercise can be done in so many ways. You can use text to columns, you can use flash fill, you can use formulas, functions, combining left and right with mid and search or find. But I mean, I'm just showing you one other way that you can do it. So just to um, buttress the fact that the asterisks and the question mark, the wildcards work in find. Let's try and do something here. Look at these um, strings here. Let's assume I want to find in maybe my sheets now, for example, any string that has just three characters, any string that has just three characters. So it means I can pull up my control F, which is find. And what I'm going to put in there, because I'm looking for three characters. Yeah, you have it there. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That represents three characters. So what's Excel going to do? Excel is going to look through the worksheet and find anything that has three characters. Let's see if the results make sense based on our expectation. So let's do find all so that we can see a list of, you know, everything that um, Excel is able to find. Okay, let me expand this. Now, if you look, you can see that it's pretty much finding <laughs> everything, not just those that have three characters. Uh, so th there seems like there's a problem, but there isn't really. There's just some other trick within the find and replace window um, that kind of would resolve this. So let's click options here. This is one place most people don't go to, but you should. So click options. Now you would see here that you have two checkboxes that are very important. There's one which is match case, and there's one that is match entire cell content. The match entire cell content is what's going to fix this problem. Because if you say match entire cell content, then it means that it's going to make sure that what they are looking for is exactly how it is found. So, But if you don't do that, what is just checking is that is there any string that has at least three characters? That's what it's doing right now because you put three question marks. But because you didn't say you should match entire cell content, it's going to just look for any cell that has at least three characters and it returns it. And if you look at my list, you see that every cell has at least three characters and that's why they were found. If we increase this to four, you'll probably notice that things like car and dog will no longer be found. Let's see. So let's do find all now. Do you see that car and dog are not found again? Because now you specifically said four characters. So it's looking for anything that has at least four characters. But if you want to make sure that it is three characters and strictly three characters, you check this box and say match entire cell contents to mean that whatever I'm looking for here in the find, if you don't find it exactly, then say, you know, you, you didn't find it. Don't look for it within a string. Look for it as being the only string in that cell. Okay, so now let's do the find one more time and see what we get now. So do you see? You're able to find what? Car. You're able to find dog. You're able to find what? J. Any cell that contains just three characters. So having this, you know, in mind, you can then do a lot of things with define and replace, if you may, you know, and do some very interesting things. But this, I just wanted to share this first. So let me just go into the example I want to, you know, demonstrate using find and replace. What I want to do is I want to split this into first name and last name, right? I know I can do it with text to columns, but just to show you that sometimes with some other features that don't look like they're created for some purposes, you can get them to do some things with some creativity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this into my first name, you know, just so that I still have what I want. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I have them selected. I'm going to do replace, which is control H. Of course, you know the find and replace window is essentially the same, right? So it just pops up to the replace tab if you press control H, and it pops up to the find tab if you press control F. So how can I get only the first name? What I can see here that is obvious to me is that there's a space between the first name and the last name. So I know that once I find a space and any other character, that will obviously be the surname. I can then replace that with nothing. Let me take that again. If I find a space and any other thing, in Abiodun Jackson, what that will mean is that I will look for a space and asterisk to represent as many characters as possible because the surnames are of varying length. So I can then use that to find Jackson and the space. And if I say replace with nothing, automatically I'll be left with just Abiodun. Okay, let's see how that works. So in your find what, put a space and put asterisk, meaning look for a space, and any other characters accompanied and replace that with nothing. Let's do replace all. 
system is a little slow but oh okay i have to uncheck uh, my match entire cell content sorry yeah so replace all okay so you see it gives me my first name so how can i use this to get the last name somebody's probably going to get that already but let's just copy what we have here for the uh, last name so let's see how do we do the last name now what we need now is we need as many characters as we can and a space once you have that it means in this case it's going to pick any character it sees and a space and it's going to stop there so i'm going to replace that with nothing so that will find in this case a building space replace with nothing you'll be left with jackson so let's do replace all all right so you can see a pseudo find <laughs> and replace alternative if you may pseudo text to columns using find and replace and incorporating a little on wildcats just something i thought to share and like i typically would say that if you can think it excel can probably do it so on this note i would stop the video right here if you enjoy what you've seen you can subscribe to the channel you can also click the like button it doesn't hurt all right have a good day